Hey y'all, this is Rhonda, and today, as promised, I did walk on the treadmill. I did a total of 25 minutes. I don't know exactly how far I went, but I didn't have the speed very, you know, like high, like it was like one and a half. So I did that, and you know, as far as the diet, I was doing really good in the morning. I drank a protein shake, and then I had like a, you know, I'd packed a small lunch and brought a snack, but when you know, <laughs> the go my coworkers ordered Chinese food. So I got uh, some of those fried meat wontons and if you have not had those you have been missing out but don't try them because it'll get you hooked but anyway <laughs> they're really really good um so I'm going to try again tomorrow with the diet part but I am going to walk on the treadmill again um so I'm really proud that I did that but you know this has been really difficult really hard time for me because of this COVID. I, you know, in the beginning, I was still doing the diet like I was supposed to. I was keeping track of everything I ate and I was still exercising and everything like that. Then the gym shut down. So then I was trying to exercise at home and, you know, still, you know, figuring out how many calories that I know I'm looking funny because I don't know where to look on this, but I was still trying to you know, you know, keep track of everything. And then when this COVID hit, you know, it's, it really stressed me out. <laughs> I mean, really bad. Like you wouldn't even believe. I mean, I was <laughs> like, when you can't find toilet paper, you know, it's, it's a problem, you know, and I know everybody knows this, but it is a problem. So, I'm gonna just try again and I think as long as you're trying then you're not a failure so I was being really hard on myself um, because you know I've got thyroid problems um, I'm sure I haven't talked about it but I it, nothing serious it's hypothyroid very treatable but my feet have been swelling like crazy just not my feet but also my ankles and I know part of it's my thyroid but part of it's my weight and part of it's because I'm working out outside technically so I work in a tent <laughs> so anyway um or was I going with that? So, I'm going to try to be, not to be so hard on myself. I saw where Do It, on, Do it on a Dime was talking about looking at a picture. I don't know where she got this idea. It's some therapist or something, I guess, or social work. I don't know. You look at a picture of yourself as a child and try to say all of the things that you're critical about yourself to that picture of you as a child. So I didn't even have to look at a picture of me when I was a child. I don't even think I have any pictures of me when I was a child, but I just think about that that little girl that I was that was so shy and so timid and so afraid to talk in class and, you know, and how could I be so hard on her? <laughs> and that's me. So I... Am my own worst critic and I'm gonna stop it and I can do this I know that I can and I've been saying that and I know that you all out there think oh she's just another fat person who says she's gonna lose weight and she's not really gonna do it so you know if you think that that's that's fine but I can do this and I will and you know Things have happened in the past where I've tried to diet and I've had like this <laughs> really bad things happen. I mean, I'm not kidding when I've tried to diet in the past. 
and sometimes I'll talk about it, what things have happened when I've tried to diet, and this time it was COVID, and so it's always something. So it's always going to be some kind of stress, major stress, and I just need to realize it's not really a diet, it's a lifestyle change. And <clears throat> so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get back to eating. I love to snack. I'm going to get back to eating healthy snacks instead of Doritos. That's my go-to snack. I'm going to quit doing that because they're not good. There's nothing good other than the taste of <laughs> Doritos. Nothing good for you about Doritos at all. Nothing. So I'm going to just, I'm going to fix the problem and just not buy them. My husband doesn't eat them. I eat them. And I'm going to quit it. And now I've gotten on this new kick lately. <laughs> We're Pringles. I've been loving Pringles. And I've got to stop it. <sighs> you know, just because oh, but, oh, I bought it is giving me a good credit for the Pringles doesn't mean that I need to buy them. They offer healthy snacks too. You know, I just, I'm thinking, oh, Doritos, I get 25 cents back. Oh, Pringles, I get 50 cents back. I'm gonna get the Pringles. So I'm gonna quit doing that. It's, I'm just making excuses and I need to stop it right now. I have a treadmill in my house. We, own a treadmill. We we just got a Nordic Track treadmill and tonight was the third time I've used it and we've had it for a month. So it's not like, oh if I could go to the gym, I could, you know, if I could join a gym, I have got a treadmill here. It's very extremely nice treadmill. Uh, it is. It's really, you know, it's a nice treadmill. I highly recommend a Nordic Track treadmill if you're interested in one. I mean, a treadmill, look, look them up because Nordic Track is, is really, really nice. So anyway, <laughs> there's no excuse for me. None. Just none. I'm going to quit blaming the COVID because every mistake that is going on with everybody, it's, oh, well, COVID, COVID, COVID. You know, that works to a point, but it doesn't work for everything. It doesn't. It doesn't work for me, you know, because there's no reason why. I have a treadmill home in my house. There's, I'm buying my food. There's no reason why I can't buy healthier food. And there's no reason why I shouldn't have, <laughs> that I couldn't have eaten the food that I brought today. But I left it in the refrigerator. So tomorrow... It's a whole new day, and I'm going to start over again, and I'm going to write down. I'm not only going to keep it on that my fitness pal, but I'm going to write down every single thing that I eat and every time that I exercise, and I'm going to talk about it with you guys because I think that the, well, I don't think, I know that it helps me. I know that it really does. So, <clears throat> and tomorrow would have been my way of Wednesday. I am going to weigh, and I am going to tell you how much I weigh. <laughs> so, and the number's high, and I'm very embarrassed about it, but you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say it <sighs> and be honest. You know, who are we kidding here? <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I don't know if I'm going to put the video of me exercising at the front, at the first of this video or in the end of the video I don't know but I'll tell you this when I was exercising I felt like oh I'm just really going you know really fast and then I look and I'm like is this thing is I mean it looks like I'm going in slow motion I mean it looks like I'm going so slow but to me it was like I was going really fast <laughs> so keep that in mind I'm not gonna speed it up or anything I'm gonna leave it like it is so you can see it and I didn't slow it down this is me huffing and puffing in the beginning going that slow so i've just got to get used to you know walking again I, I've, I've got to get used to that and i'm sure tonight that i'm gonna hurt but i just gotta get used to it i just gotta
got to get used to it. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to be honest. And tomorrow, I, you know, I'm going to, it's not going to be, a, it'll be a weigh-in Wednesday. But no weight loss. It'll just, I'll just tell my weight. I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell my weight. <sighs> so, I think with this channel, I was thinking about, you know, just changing the name and being all sneaky. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it as Watch Me Lose because I'm going to lose. I am. I'm going to do this. And I am going to throw some couponing deals at it because I love them. And so, anyway, I'm Rhonda. And if you like videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can watch me lose. Bye. Mm -hmm.